come to the white flag. One lap to go. And it's a race from here on, no matter what happens. Johnson looked high. Kemps to draft right, with Edward. To Johnson to the bottom. Come right, along to the top. Right Man, back, back up seven out time. again. Jimmy Johnson with Carl Edwards. But Kenseth up the middle, coming back. Help from David Reagan. Up to the bumper of Carl Edwards. Reagan in the middle. His teammate Gilliland is the pusher. They're right on the bumper of Edwards. Is there anywhere to go? Reagan to the bottom. Look at Reagan. Gilliland with him. David Reagan. July winner at Daytona a couple of years ago. Gilliland with him. Edwards up top. Michael Waltrip to help. And here they come on turn four. Push, boys, push. Push hard. Edwards high. Reagan comes up. Carl Edwards. Think about David Reagan, David Gilliland, and their other teammate, Josh Rice, wrecked together early in the Daytona 500. What a celebration. What a great win for this. Hey, Bob Jenkins, the car owner, yeah. is uh, <laughs> They need to watch this race today. Good. Great. His dad, Ken Reagan, a longtime independent driver on the Sprint Cup circuit. And one of the nicest young men you'll ever meet in your life. Dave Blaney first to break from the traffic with Brad Kislowski. Here come Brian Vickers and Casey Kane. Oh, not a part of the item. But Jeff Martin will have the last one to This far, it's one of the packs. Does Boyer pull off and try and win? There's a chance that Boyer might try to pull off win when they get to the trial. Here he goes. Here he goes. Does the pack have a chance to run him down? Uh, there you and him. Okay. Side by side and contact. The pack is not going to catch him. Boyer wanted to get Jeff Burton out there so they could get far enough that he might can make a move to have a chance to win this race. That was surprising at his perfection. I wanted to, you know, obviously I was trying to figure out where to pass him, and I was going to, you know, I said, I'm at least going to give him a shot out. I'm going to try it early, and it's going to be a drag race. Cross the line, head back off into turn number one, and it will be Jeff Gordon and Mark Martin. Can they hang on to the lead as they're looking for the checkered flag and one more lap around? Gordon and Martin will lay in the weeds for much of the afternoon, but now on the final lap, they're where they want to be, first and second. Here comes Boyer. Here comes Harvest. They're going to challenge on the back straightaway. For now, they stay single file. Here comes the move. Boyer to the outside. Harvick goes to the outside. Side by side for the lead and the win at Talladega. Jeff Gordon dives to the inside. He's got Mark Martin. Here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Jimmy Johnson. Six Chevrolets to settle it here at Talladega. Gordon to the inside. It is Clint Boyer to the outside for the final time. Boyer trying to hang on to the top spot. RCR trying to make it three in a row here at Talladega Super Speedway. About to be decided. Into the triumphal they come. The challenge on down low. Jimmy Johnson pulls out front, but Boyer looks like he held him off. No, they're saying Jimmy Johnson. High fives all the way around. Chad Canals, the rest of this Lowe's team, absolutely stunned. They are now trying to uh, figure out and make sure everything's okay. Are they definitely going to victory lane? And those lead, the two lead groups started side drafting and slowed each other up. I had a good run into three, but nowhere to go with it. And then by the time we got back to the trial, we had another big run going, and those guys were worried about side drafting each other towards the top of the track and left that bottom wide open for us, and uh, we rallied our way through there. How long will Harvick stay there? They're working back to the trial. A couple of Daytona 500 winners going for the victory today here at Talladega Super Speedway, the defending Daytona 500 winner. Jimmy McMurray up front. Here comes Kevin Harvick diving to the inside, and he's going to pick it off. The 2007 winner of the Daytona 500 will win today in the Aaron's 499 at Talladega Super Speedway. He pushed McMurray all the way around the track, and then when they came into Triangle Barney, he dove to the inside of the track and made the pass. Make sure that he and McMurray got away from the field. They accomplished that, and with a couple of 300 yards remaining in the race, he went on to job one. Jumped to the inside and beat McMurray in the fifth line by a heartbeat. Regan Smith, the rookie, Paul Menard is there. Tony Stewart has never won at Talladega in a NASCAR Sprint Cup car. He's gonna have to do a lot of blocking right here. They've got to run on him. Got to run. Here they come. I can't go down there and do that, though. Actually, I think that. it's legal on the last lap. He might have got it right there. I think it's
gets legal on the last lap. We're looking next door to see. Right below the yellow line, it's below. We still haven't got an indication, but it looks like Regan Smith won this race. Why would it be legal on the last lap? It's well, they were 187. Here's the replay again. Watch a 0-1. And Below he got forced line. down there. I mean, Tony Stewart actually forced him down a little bit. Well, yeah, if you're going to consider that he only... Yeah. They are saying Tony Stewart has won the race. Tony Stewart is the official winner here at Talladega. They would not allow that pass below the yellow line. That's the only way that can be. You can't go, you can't race one well way for 187 Thank laps you, and change on the guys. last lap. Uh, yeah. Well, I knew I was going to get one shot at him. And uh, Paul was back there pushing me. I backed it up a little bit going into three, and I knew I was going to make my move at. And uh, I don't know. I always got told that the rule is if you get forced down there, then you're the winner of the race on the last lap. Anything goes. That's the one thing to get back to victory lane, but to do it at Talladega, <laughs> this is one of about four places I haven't won a cup race at. And man, talk about wanting to win. I've wanted to win here for so long. I've got so many friends down here and uh, Red Farmer and Donnie Allison and all these fans, man. I mean, there's so much orange up there. And I know this hasn't been one of my favorite places on the fan side. Uh, you know, people haven't always liked me here, but this was for those guys up in the stands. <laughs>